What's up guys, my name is Justin Graziano and I'm a product photographer and on this channel I like to take you guys behind the scenes of some of my shoots and show you guys how I edit my photos and in today's video I want to do something a little bit different and do a DIY photography hack that I've been thinking about for a while now. So I don't know if you guys are like me, but if you've been into product photography for a while now, there's a good chance that you've bought a lot of these. But the issue is with this solution is that over time they start to get a little bit disgusting because I like to do splash photography and they're not easy to clean up and then eventually they'll start to get banged up and the corners will start to fall apart. So I think I've come up with a more reliable and budget friendly solution that will help fix this problem. So I've been buying these dry erase chalkboards for years now to use as my black and white shooting surfaces, but I think they're gonna be the perfect solution to replacing the cheap foam boards that I've been using. They're a lot sturdier and they have both a black and a white side. So I can use the white side as a bounce and then the black side as a negative fill. But I wanna come up with an easier solution for you guys to set these up rather than just holding them up. So let's go ahead and create something I've been doing to all my foam boards, which is creating an A-frame. So these are essentially miniature V-flats, which if you haven't heard of them, they're basically these large format bounce and negative fill cards, and you can buy them for around $200. But what I'm going to be making today will cost you about $20 to make. So all the supplies you should be able to get at your local hardware store or your local home improvement store. But just in case, I'll make a list of links down below of everything that you'll need for this, just in case you can't find them. So you need one double-sided dry erase chalkboard, two small hinges, and a couple of screws to put everything together. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna cut this board in half and then I'm gonna attach the hinges so that we can create that A-frame like I talked about before. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by measuring out my entire board so that I can mark the center. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line straight down the center so I know where to cut. And if you guys aren't able to cut these boards yourself, I've heard this many of times that Home Depot or Lowe's will actually cut it for you, so make sure to ask. So now that I've cut my boards in half, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna use these hinges to attach them together. So we're gonna start by laying both boards on top of each other and aligning the hinges to where we want them and then we're gonna go ahead and mark them off. Once that's done, all we need to do is go ahead and drill a few holes and add in our screws. So now that I finished putting together this bounce board, let's go ahead and see how it works out. Basically what I'm doing is I'm using this one to replace this one, which if you look at this one, it's pretty gross. So I went ahead and set up some lights so that we could test out these bounce boards and I just went ahead and grabbed this product from inside my house. Basically what it is, it's a can of Suavecito pomade but it's the Felix the Cat version so it's a pretty cool packaging and it's something I've been wanting to photograph for a while now. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my product and start shooting. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take some photos and show you guys exactly what a bounce board is used for. So I just went ahead and took my first shot. What you can see here is that the lighting is coming from the left hand side and the light is wrapping around the can. And basically as it starts wrapping around, you get a pretty drastic shadow on the right hand side. And this can make all the details in the label a little bit difficult to read. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna take my balance board and I'm gonna go ahead and set it up on that right hand side. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and bounce light back into my product and make things a little bit easier to see. All right guys, so if you take a look at these two photos, there's already a huge difference between the two. Bounce board just added a ton of light back in, and you know, this is a thing that can be super helpful because if you only have one light, you don't need to add a second light to the other side. All you need to do is go ahead and grab a bounce board and it'll fix that issue immediately for you. And 
now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take this bounce board and I'm gonna move it around to a few different sections and just see how the light reflects off of the product. That way I can get multiple exposures that I can combine later and post. So what I did here was I took the bounce board and I moved it around the product. Basically what this is doing, it's adding extra reflections back into the product. So holding up the bounce board above the product was adding in light so that you can see the shape of the top of the can a little bit more prominently. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off all my lights and just set up one light to use so I can grab a top exposure of just the top of the can and add a nice highlight to the top of the can. So this video was definitely different for me, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys end up building one of these bounce boards for yourself and adding it to your own setup. I just hated to look at these shitty looking bounce boards laying around my studio and when I have on location shoots, it just didn't look that good bringing these old bounce boards in. So having these will add a cleaner presentation to my setup and I'm excited to keep using them. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. I plan on doing more of these DIY photo hacks on this channel, so expect to see more of these. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.